Okay, good morning class. So today, today we're looking at exponents or indices. And we're looking at the examples for substitution. Okay, this is the examples uh, for exercise three. And exercise three is on page 17. Okay, here are the examples. Is on page, also on page seven. All right, so today we're looking at substitution. This means that the specific value may be assigned to each unknown, namely a, b, x, and y, etc. The expression will now have a numerical value. What is a numerical value? A number value. Not so well this year, if you got negative 2x to the exponent 4, this is a variable. Why? It can change. It variates. It changes. Alright, so x is equal to 2 in this case. However, they could have made x to be 5 or minus 12 or whatever. You guys understand? It doesn't have to always be 2 for x. Alright. This is the example on page 17 as we indicated. The question says, if x is equal to 2, find negative 2x all, all raised to the exponent 4. People now, there's one of two ways I can do this. Okay, I can either apply my exponential rule first. Let's apply the exponent for exponential rule. Negative to an even exponent will always be positive. 2 to the 4 is 16 and x to the exponent. Okay, which now gives us, now if we substitute 2 into here, what do we get? 16 times 2 to the exponent 4. And 2 to the exponent 4 is what? 16, so it's 16 times 16. So we've got 16 times 16, so we're going to give you 36. That's 696 is 0, 1, 6, 2, 5, 6. You all understand. Now then, we could have said, we could have done the substitution first. Okay? So it's going to be, open brackets, negative 2 times y multiplication, because between negative 2 and x is what? Multiplication. Not so. So it's negative 2 times 2 raised to the exponent. What's negative 2 times positive 2? Negative 4 raised to the exponent 4. So what's negative to an even exponent? Positive. And 4? Four, 4 to the 4 means to say it's 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. Can you see that? 4 times 4 is? 16. And 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 16? 256. We just do that calculation again. So either or would get you the right or the full one. You will understand. Okay, you'll always see in my memos, I always do substitution first. Okay. I prefer doing substitution. Okay. Any confusion there? Eh? Let's look at example two. In example two. We are told if a is equal to minus 2, again, they could have let a be any value. Not so. But if a is equal to negative 2, find negative 2 a cubed minus, open brackets, negative 2 a whole cubed. What I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute the negative 2 in first. So what would it now read? Negative 2 open brackets, negative 2 square, uh, cubed minus open brackets, Negative 2 times negative 2. Otherwise, I could have put that in a bracket as well. Okay, we would have looked like this. Negative 2 into negative 2 cubed. That means the same thing. Okay? So what do we do now? 
Dis nie gete toang, dis soot uit my brackets first, according to Barnabas. Dis times. Was negative to an odd exponent? Negative. 2 cube? 8. Okay. Minus. What's negative times negative? Positive. Okay. If you want, if you put a bracket here, you didn't have to have the 2 times 2 is? Okay. So what do we do now? You can multiply this here, not so. It's not going to affect this term here. And I can apply that exponent. Alright? So what's negative times negative? Positive. 2 times 8? Can I multiply the negative in first? No. No, you must apply the exponent. Okay? That's negative. Positive to any even exponent is? Positive. Or negative. Uh, or, or an odd exponent will always be positive. And that positive times this negative will always be? Negative. Now 4 to the exponent 3 is 64. It must 4 times 4 times 4. It's 64. Okay. So 16 minus 64. Will this answer be negative or positive? As you see, between 16 and 64, the bigger of the two numbers is 64. Okay? But because it's negative, it will take the sign of the bigger number. So we subtract, so 64 minus 16. So 4 gone, so it's going to give you 5. 5 minus 6. It's going to give you 8. So the answer is negative 48. Any confusion there, people? Now we're going to fast? No? Look at number, number 3. If x is equal to minus 1, and y is equal to 2, find x squared minus 2, open brackets 2x, y, or q. So what do we do first? Substitute. So wherever I see here, x I put a negative 1. So it's going to be negative 1 squared minus, open brackets, 2 times, what is x? Negative 1. Y? 2. Or positive 2. Raise the power. Okay. What needs to be done first? Negative to an even exponent will always be positive. 1 squared is 1. Minus. I'm going to multiply this out first before I apply the exponents. What is 2 times negative 1? Negative 2. Times 2? Negative 4. And the raised to power? 3. Do I need to write this positive 1 here? This is the right one. Minus. Open brackets. Negative to an odd exponent. Negative. Negative. 4 cubed? 64. Negative times negative is? Positive, positive 64. Which is? 65. So with that you should be able to do exercise 3. Okay. And that's on page 17. Any confusion so far? Okay, the full lesson can be found in the description box below.